Alexander Bollinger here. I am a registered osteopath and a classical Pilates teacher and I'm giving you today a tip on the snake and twist. We're going to use Sam the skeleton and then I'll show you the exercises. So you have two muscles that I want you to think of is the trapezius, the inferior part of the trapezius. So there's the upper and the medial part. We're going to focus on the lower inferior part of the trapezius and your serratus. So you have your serratus that are the superhero muscles. You can see very defined around the ribs. And the inferior part of your trapezius that helps you to depress the shoulder. So the shoulder will come down, right? And then the scapula will come down as well. So you're depressing the shoulder, you're reaching down. So we're gonna think of that hand on the pedal, right? And when your hand is on the pedal, you're reaching now and you're engaging the scapula, the serratus, and the inferior part of the trapezius, okay? So think about on your snake and twist, you are, you get your shoulders here, and the serratus and the trapezius is responsible to depress the shoulder. So you don't want to go into your snake and twist with your shoulder up. Think of the superhero muscles, engage, stay in there to do your snake and twist. There are so many parts to the snake and twist, but I want you to think of what's my shoulder doing in comparison to my scapula and to my waist. And I don't let that pedal bring my shoulder up. I keep depressing my shoulder into my scapula, into my waist, and I keep it there the whole time. So think shoulders away from your ears and depressing the pedal down so it doesn't pop, press down. Yeah? <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments.